All right, guys. This is how the valve, well, one of the valve cover looks. This was the main one, the one that was like the nastiest that you guys saw earlier. After cleaning it up, it took me about a couple hours. Um, that's as clean as I can get the the engine and the heads. I can't get it any cleaner until I start it up and run it with some diesel through it. Um, been using diesel to clean it. Man, the freaking head, the valve covers look so nice. I don't know, that blue looks sharp, man. Uh, like, I got this, the intake manifold, soaking in some diesel right now. This is the part that I use, uh, my diesel and degreaser, purple stuff, right here, purple stuff, uh, purple power, sorry. And a uh, regular black bottle degreaser, just sitting there. I let it sit in there overnight and soak. Um, I didn't get to pour the degree the diesel into it until this morning this afternoon. If I would have had it in there, I wouldn't have to be soaking the intake manifold right now. Like right now I got the plenum and the bolts for the valve cover soaking in there because they're like corroded, like gunked up with, with dirt and stuff. And then there goes my bucket for rinsing it and then I wipe it down with the rag and probably not a the best thing to do, but when time is limited when time is limited and you're doing this by yourself and you need to have this on the road tonight to go to work and I got about two hours of sunlight left you gotta do what you can do man see got it as clean as possible dang I should have turned on the light um, it doesn't look as bad nowhere near as bad as before it looks a lot cleaner. I'm dying to start it up and let it run for a while with the diesel to get that gunk all out of there. Uh, I'll tell you what, taking it apart was a headache, especially pulling the the, the air compressor. Um, dang, what's that called? I forgot what it's called. Well, pulling this. I could not pulling it, but just getting it loose enough to move it was a headache, man. To figuring it out. Well, the one bolt. There's one bolt that was down at the bottom behind the power steering pump crazy anyways so yeah that's my update i'm gonna have it running soon you'll see